Hello, my name is Jonas, and I would like to show you today the first steps with IMNU, so you get to your own calculator. First of all, you go to our website and click on uh, Test is for free or gratis test in German. And if you don't have an account yet, you need to, to register, um, put your email, password, and company name, and then you get redirected to the calculator. And that's it. So first of all, you need to, um, to configure, configure your machines. Here we have already some machines uh, in this profile, but um, at the beginning it will be empty. So search for your uh, machine and just click on the plus button. In case you don't find your machine, just write, your, write us an email, um, click on this button. We will send you in this attachment also an Excel file. Complete the Excel file with the machine names and access and just send it to, to us. And we will have your um, account set up within uh, 24 hours. If you're done, if this is done, then you're ready to go. So basically there are two approaches to uh, fill up your archive. So Marvin, the artificial intelligence from you, Imnu can learn. First, the first approach is you go to, to the domain, the uh, to the estimate page, and you just um, add a 3D model and just select it now one. And it will upload, and then you just complete here um, the, the information, like material is very important. Uh, you just type in the material you have, then you search for, uh, or you add the, uh, the material shape, and you can also add this uh, data here. You select then the machine you want to estimate, the lot size, and then you just click estimate. And it takes a couple of seconds. Marvin will calculate um, running times based on the the articles you have already in the archive. So this account is already pre-filled, so that's why these numbers are green. You add here then your estimation, so at the beginning this will be uh, not good. And then you add something, what you think it's uh, accurate for this part. And you have here a note field that's for you. And then you just click uh, add to archive. This information here will be not um, will be not considered for machine learning. So let's do that. So add file. Good. Then it's done. Then you go to archive, and what you see here, you see the new article here on the left side. So it takes a couple of seconds until it's stored in the database. What you do then? You click on it and you just add the real production time and that you can do in this section here. So just add your machine. Um, you produced it already. You have done this on this machine. It took 20 minutes on machining time. You needed 40, 40 minutes to, to do the setup and programming was 60 minutes. In case you had a second machine, for this piece you add here machine and you just add here the, the additional working step and you add here the additional machining time for this working step so you will see it will sum up so let's complete this and then you just save so this is one data set marvin will consider for the new parts so let's save and close it so it's done and that's it. So that was the first approach. The second approach is a little bit faster. You just go here or you just click a drag and drop. Um, you select your 3D model and you do basically the same thing just without estimation. So this is faster. Um, I should say we, we suggest to do the first let's say 20 parts this way because then you have your archive already pre-filled with a couple of data so that means you just add here the 3d model you can add here also the drawing if you have it 
So I do it in the must field first. Uh, name one, drawing number, drawing, and so on. And here you, you do the same thing again. You, you add here the real machining time, the real setup time, and so on, and you click save. And that's the second way. Um, so you need around 50, 50 parts to see the difference. So it takes, it, it goes very fast. Users, um, they are not experienced. It takes a little bit longer per, p per part, like around one to two minutes per article to upload everything. But if you're an experienced user and your experience very fast, it takes about 30 seconds. So it takes around one hour to, to two hours to upload 50 um, parts with post calculation. Um, the best way how to do it is, or when to do it, is uh, you do it before sending the, the invoice. So then you know already, okay, this, this piece we have done and it took so much time on this machine, then you can have it or you can see it a little bit more as a, a tracking, like how good you were on, with this piece. Did you lose money? Did you win money? Or you do it when, it really was produced and it gets back to the production guys. So they, they will fill in uh, the, the ERP system with the data. Then you do it the same thing here. Um, the most important thing here is the two things. Um, here in these production times, don't add estimations. So this will be considered for machine learning. If you add um, crap data here, machine learning will calculate also crap uh, estimations for new parts. So please do not enter estimations, real production times, and it should be accurate. And separate also machining time with setup time, don't mix it together, they should be separated. That's the first thing which is important. And the second thing which is important, um, do, it, do it in a regular base. So, every week once or twice or every day it really takes a couple of minutes to upload one or two pieces it's think about the dishwasher you need to empty at home um, every time you need to do it you think oh i don't want to do it but uh, at the end it takes one minute and uh, it's not worth to think about it yeah that's it that was it already it's really easy to use and you should to get very fast results. And um, if you have questions, just contact us. We are happy to help. Thank you.